Adams checking the runner at second. Here's the first pitch. Breaking ball is hit left side. D.R. Meadows grabs it. He's going to third out there. Great play by Meadows. Moving to his right, got into the hole on a one hopper that was hit hard. And then with his forward motion going toward third base, through to Nick Curtis for the force. One two pitch, big breaking ball. Swing and a miss strike three. So Lane gets out of a jam. He strands runners on first and third. And he does it with his ninth strikeout of his junior season. We played a half an inning, no score between the Dogs and Swainsboro on Y101. And the Bulldogs trying to bounce back after a 12 to one loss runner going. Here's a throw down to third, Meadows slides and safely the ball gets away. DR gets up and it's dropped by the left fielder. He tried to scoop it up and DR walks home. So aggressive base running as Meadows scores his 11th run of the season. Full count pitch, chop left side of the infield and through for a base hit for Nick Curtis. As he slips it by the shortstop, Cameron Key and the third baseman Hunter Hogan on a couple of big bounces. So Nick with his 13th hit, one more than he had all of last year. Got off to a real good start, two for three against Fadea, two for four at Johnson, two for two at Beach. He was six for his first nine. One one pitch. Bounces it over to the third baseman, and Hunter Hogan can't make a play, and everybody's safe. He had Curtis breaking toward him from second to third. So if you field the ball, a chance to get the force play at third. Instead, at E5, and the bases are juiced for Christian Conley, who's on a two-game hitting streak in the top of the first inning. Hooks looking back towards second, deals the pitch, bouncing ball right side, and it'll make it into the outfield grass by Ellis. That'll score one. Here comes Lukey around third. Here's a throw to the dish. He slides in, and he's safe with a feet first slide, just beating the tag from R.J. Phillips. A good throw from the right fielder, Trey Amerson, right on line, and Lukey got in there, scoring the Bulldogs' third run. So Conley comes through, getting that ball by Ellis, who was diving for the ball, Moving to his right. Brings up Austin Williams. Two for three with the varsity. One for two at Johnson. One for one against Beach. Two RBIs, two runs scored. And he swings a stick from the left side, and he hits a hard shot at the second baseman, and Hall can't handle it. That scores Usher, and here comes Conley to the dish, and he scores, just beating the throw. So we'll see how they score that one, and I have to wait until after the game. But that ball was hit right at Hall. It was hit hard by Austin Williams, and the second baseman couldn't squeeze it, really jump on pitches, especially if he saw a fastball on the first pitch. But obviously he's taking more pitches now. Swings and hits this ball hard into left field. Copeland dives. He did not snag that baby. And here comes Austin Williams to the plate. And here comes Tristan Lynn to the plate. And the ball's still in the outfield. And here comes DR Meadows to third. As DR hit that ball hard. And I'll put down a triple and two RBIs as the Bulldogs have built up a seven to nothing lead. Tristan Lynn at second, now Usher at first. Here's the Adams pitch, ground ball. DR goes to the backhand and picks it cleanly and guns to first base for the out. Good throw. Lots of velocity and accuracy. One two pitch, curveballs hit right side up in the air. Jordan Usher coming over in foul territory. It makes a nice smooth catch. So two down. 2-2, two -two. curveball, check swing, pokes it up in the air. Usher, the first baseman, calls for it. Little soft flare, and he grabs it. He makes two nice plays, and it's a three up and three down for Lane Adams. Looking good on the mound today for the Toombs County Bulldogs, who look real good at the plate in the opening frame when they scored seven, and they lead 7 nothing as we take a break on Y101. You don't get that many at-bats. He had a sack fly in the first inning that drove in D.R. Meadows for the only run of the game for the Dogs. 
It's his first pitch up of the air to left field. Copeland on the run, still running, reaching out, and the ball is going to drop. This will be a double, at least for George Lukey. He's coming to second. He'll stop there as Swainsboro throws it in. And Lukey with his fourth double of the season. Hit that ball well. Make it eight to nothing. Here's a pitch. Not close, bouncing away. Lukey breaking to the dish, and there's no throw. He slides in safely. Lukey scores his second run of the game. And the Bulldogs lead 8-0. That's ball four to Usher. <laughs> Conley, the left-handed hitter, looking at this right-hander for the first time. Swings and hits the ball into right field. Solid base hit. Usher taking the turn, coming to third. Here comes a throw, and he is going to be out. The 2016 Lions Citizen of the Year is Carolyn Cooper, just announced. There's a soft flare to D.R. Meadows, one down. And also, Normantown Citizen of the Year. Here's a pitch hit up high in the air. Usher is back in left field, and he makes a catch real deep. 2-2 breaking ball. Hit left side of Nick Curtis, the third baseman has it, and he throws it over to first, and I think now we're going to hit the top of the third. Four up and three down instead of three up and three down. As Lane gets the out on the ground, out to third. Here's Austin, left-handed hitter. Up an inch on the bat, chops it right up the middle, bouncing the shortstop. Key can't get to it, and it's into center field for a base hit for Austin. He's got to be enjoying this. One ball, two strikes, runner at second. McGowan taking his lead. Curtis pokes this one deep and down the right side, and that ball is a fair ball into the corner. That'll score a run, and Curtis is to second base. Here he comes, rounding second, coming to third. Here's a throw. He slides in safely, and the ball gets away. Boy, Nick with real power. Backside right down the line. The right-handed hitter hitting the ball into right field and just keeping it fair for a triple to go with that inside the park home run that he hit against Beach. His 14th hit is a big one. Bulldogs leading 10 zip as Logan McGowan scored. Next night we went to Norman, Oklahoma and lost to the Oklahoma Sooners 108 to 82. Curveball's hit into the air. D.R. Meadows, the shortstop. No, that's Tristan Lynn, the shortstop. He makes a catch. He throws back to second to Jalen Mobley. And safe there. Tristan, replacing D.R., went deep into the outfield grass to make a real good play. One ball, one strike. Here's a well-hit ball to left field for a base hit. Usher going to pick it up on several bounces. Runner coming around third of the shutout. is overthrow to second base. Well, that's Mobley catching the ball and applying the tag, but late. Thunder Dan, isn't that what they called him? Bouncing ball to Nick Curtis. He's coming home. Cole Graham with a catch. Gets the out. Throws to first base for a dog double play. The freshman in the middle of that 5-2-3 to two to, three to Kyle Knight. It could have been a big inning for Swainsboro. Instead, the Tigers score one. As the Dogs turned to double play with the bases loaded. Reached on a fielder's choice in the first inning. Walked to lead off the fourth on a 3-1 pitch. Nothing at one. Here it is. Check swing. Bouncing right side. Harrison will pick it up and tag him out. Runners to second and third. 2-2. Two -two. Bouncing ball center of the diamond. Tristan Lynn feels it. And he throws on the run to first base. And that's out number three. Good pitching after the conversation by Brock Harrison. He handled a grounder and induced a grounder to a shortstop to leave the runners at second and third. The Dogs need one to win in five. They lead 10-1 as we take a break on your home of the Dogs, Y101. Everybody getting to play today in this non-region game. Lynn swings and hits the ball into the air to right field, and it will drop in for a base hit. Nice swing to the backside by Tristan Lynn. Working from the full windup. Here's the pitch. Hit into the air to left field. Back goes Usher on the run toward the fence. And this ball is going to ricochet off the fence. 
That scores one. That scores two Tigers, and the throw gets away. It's bouncing into the infield, picked up by Nick Curtis. A double and two RBIs makes it 10-3 dogs. He winds. Here's his pinch. Another curveball is hit left side of the infield. Tristan Lynn feels it and fires to first. High, and it gets away. One run scores, and now another one to the dish. Runner down to second. Here's a throw. Mobley with the tag. He's safe. And now Swainsboro is trailing 10 to 5. Well, unless something big happens, this game's going 7. 1-1 one, one curveballs hit into the air, right down the right field line. Can anybody get to it? McGowan coming over in foul territory. Makes a catch, runner tagging. Here's the throw all the way across the diamond. And he's safe. Logan has a big arm. And Cole Graham with the side, and Brock Harrison deals his pitch. Hit right side, McGowan coming in, catches it for out number three. But Swainsboro gets busy in the top of the sixth inning, has its biggest inning of the game and scores four. And so now the dogs are leading 10 to five, going to the bottom half of the sixth on Y101. For $100, they ought to give me a box score. Usher swings and hits the pitch up high into the air, deep to left field. Back goes Copeland, still running into the corner, and this ball is gone again for Jordan Usher. His second home run in less than a week. A two-run shot once again. This one right down the line, though. The other one was into the gap in left center field. Usher with a two-run shot. He's back at home plate. He jumps up in the air, just like he did on Friday against Dodge with all his teammates around him. Jordan Usher makes it 12 to five. Bader so big and strong. They were pounding the ball inside, dunking. Yale so frail, passing the ball around and hitting threes. Anything can happen when you can pass the ball. Oh, here's a ball hit real deep. Over comes Usher on the dive. And he caught it, I think. He did. What a great catch by Jordan Usher. Laying out for that one. Jordan moving toward the left field line to catch that ball. It was hit real hard. Well, the inning started off with an error, then a great catch by Usher, and then a single. You can hear the Swainsboro fans and also, I guess, the dugout making a lot of noise. Balls hit up high into the air. Usher calls for it. He says, let me take it, Tristan Lynn, and he catches the ball in shallow left field. Two down. And the Bullpups with four hits, Gordy, Musselman, Miller, and Knight. Two and two. Will it end here? Question mark. Answer. Pop up into the infield. Tristan Lynn taking care of business, catches the ball on the inside cut, and the game's over. With the Toombs County Bulldogs winning 13 to 5 over the Swainsboro Tigers in a non-region game that will hopefully tune them up for a trip down to Brantley County to take on the Herons tomorrow back in sub-region play. Both teams shaking hands. The two teams will meet in Swainsboro later in the season. Right now we'll take a break on Y101.